What's going on, my man? How'd it go? How'd it go? Word, that was great. Word. Good, good. What's going on, man? Extra butter, man. How'd everything go today? Everything's fantastic, man. We know we're here to uh, this is the, one of the greatest places on earth. You know, you could go get some sneakers and you could go get some features. And you know what I mean? You can get into it right here. So, you know, I'm proud to be here. If I were to ask you, like, what, what type of drink do you think kind of embodies Queens? Come on. How would you Moet. interpret that? Moet. Uh, Moet. But it's upgraded now if you change it to Ace of Spade. Back in the days, like, but um, back in the days, Queens was represented like, I don't want to say like rich, but it was like, it was, it was like, that's why Queens get the money. That's that, where that frame, that phrase comes from. It's because back then, like, you know, Harlem was very flashy and very like out there. And you had people like, you know, Rich Porter and Alpo, but then you go to Queens, you have people like Fat Cat and Pappy Mason. You have people who, 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 who was pretty much doing the same thing. So when I, when I think of a drink that embodies Queens, it, it always has to be a champagne because to me, right. champagne represents success. And to, and to me, that's what Queens was at first. What were some, some spots you used to hit up that, that are long gone, but like you remember specifically going to? Sports Jam. Oh, wow. Jam. Uh, you know. uh, uh, well, I, I used to go to Coliseum. To, and to this day, I still, I haven't gone there physically yeah. in a long time, but I still go, go get sneakers from the Coliseum. I yeah. still would, you know, send, uh, send a couple of bucks in. Coliseum, uh, Gertz Mall, Green Acres Mall, uh, Queen Center Mall. When people think of like Queens as just a borough, they probably think we all know each other, we all had the same upbringing, but it's pretty diverse. Right. I mean, like, let's talk about like, kind of like, like how it was specifically you growing up. It's diverse, you know, you had, you had a lot of Indian people over there, you got a lot of Guyanese people, you got black, white, everything, you know? Everyone, we just played ball, got fresh, got money, you know? Yeah, yeah. We all the same. Even when we travel and like, we were doing things with the show, like we go to different cultures and different areas, they say, yo, how do you know about this? I'll be like, I'm from Queens, how don't I? Don't you know? <laughs> exactly. Straight up. Yeah. There's no, I kid you not, I grew up with Filipinos, I grew up with Russians, I grew up with Haitians, I grew up with, I grew up with every nationality. Right. I literally, ate every dish as a kid. Right. Like every, from, from Filipino to, like I said, Russian, Haitian, uh, uh -huh. Jamaican, every, everything, a uh, Asian, uh, 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 Chinese, and I knew everyone's culture and everyone somewhat knew mine. I'm black and Puerto Rican, so people would come to my house for chicken on their pollo and fried chicken. And especially uh, living together, I've learned to accept everybody. Yeah. I learned to accept what I love from the, another creative or color or, or, or individual more than I say, what, what makes us different. Yeah. And that's what, what Queens is. Like, Queen, like you can throw me in, in Jackson Heights, I'm gonna be all right. You can bring me uh, Queensbridge, I'm gonna be all right. Yeah. I'm gonna find Street Chick. I'm gonna find Wongs. You can put me anywhere. And that's just who we are. One final question. Mm -hmm. the, the, the popular phrase came from the hip hop culture, Queens get the money. That's right. What does that mean to you? Man. That means you gotta just stay sharp, do your thing, and you gotta win. If you're from Queens, you gotta head start over other boroughs, to be honest. So you gotta just run with that and shine like you're supposed to. I always took it as, you know, like be positive. Like, you know, if you're getting money, you can't think about doing being negative. Right. But Queens, we embrace that. Like our apartments, I looked at an apartment down the block, they got a $3,000 apartment for a studio in Long Island City. We're privileged. <laughs> We're privileged. And we're gonna take it. So what? Yes, we are the better barrel. We know that. We know that. And we're gonna, if I have to rub it in your face, we will. We will. <laughs> we're the best barrel. You try to be like us, and I like that. But I'm not to say that your barrel is is, is just bullshit. It's not bullshit. It's just number two. <laughs> That's all. It's, it's great, man. Number two is a great place. When you have beers from all over the place, look at that. Some of them are from Dusseldorf. Some of them was from Philippines. These are these are different places. Banana bread beer, I'm in. And a pale ale, baby, from India. God damn it, I told you this is different shit. This is when you know you're dealing with people that they want to be unique. Because if they want to be like everybody else, they would have a Budweiser, a Corona. My mom worked her ass off to mm. give me everything that I wanted. Mm. We were just talking the other day you know, anticipating the, this new store, you know, mm -hmm. her telling me of all these memories of like what she had to sacrifice and, 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 and go through to, you know, give me what I wanted to put me in a place to chase my dreams. Mm -hmm. But I think it's like such a full circle story, mm -hmm. unplanned that mm -hmm. like, I lived above a video rental store and now I'm running creative for a brand that 
basically champions cinematic storytelling. Wow. Yeah. But Queens Get the Money to Me is that hustle, that And, and let's just hustle. be clear too, that's a phrase that's been around for a long time, oh. but first person who put it on record is Rest in Peace Prodigy. We cannot, yep, that's let right. this, we cannot this episode go without us acknowledging, because Queens Get the Money been, been a phrase, but it's the way Prodigy said it yeah. on that goddamn app. Queens get the money, long time, no cash. I caught up in a hustle when the guns go blast. It was like 11 when that shit dropped out, and that was wow. a blueprint to life. Right, right. That was like, okay, this is what we do, right. like, straight up. It's always about discovery at Extra Butter. Mm -hmm. You're sitting in the speakeasy that no one knows about. I love this speakeasy. Right? Yes. The bar that no one knows about that you just said, Queens get the money, is attributed to Prodigy. Mm -hmm. We've named this speakeasy bar the infamous. Wow, let's make some noise for that. Yeah. Big up to Pete. Big up to Pete. Big up to Nas. Big up to Action Bronson. Big up to uh, LL Cool J, Run DMC. Black Sheep, uh, Main Akinelli. Source, Onyx. Yeah, Akinelli, <laughs> uh, Freaky Todd, Lost Boys. Big up to everybody, Mayhem. Yeah, to Queens. To, and extra butter. To Queens. <laughs>